My name's Farah, and today I'd like to demonstrate how to successfully compose or transpose a piece of music in Mario Paint Composer. Since the technology has changed slightly since Mario Paint's initial release in the early 90s, I would like to explain a few of the updates and changes made in the new 2.0 PC version. Although seemingly straightforward, this program has some hidden features and quirks that can confuse some users. First, before we get started, you'll need to download the program Mario Paint Composer. A freeware version is available at MarioPaintComposer.net. This is the PC 2.0 version, which is slightly different than the actual Super NES title. You'll learn about some of the added features later. Next, you'll need to find yourself some sheet music, or if you'd like, you can freehand it, although I would advise against it. Try to select something within your skill range, or slightly under. Most advanced pieces aimed towards seasoned musicians don't translate easily into the 16-bit program. Even though Mario Paint Composer may not require musical talent or skill, it is highly recommended since much of the work is through sight reading and transcribing notes. For now, I'll select this piece of Sailor Moon music, Moonlight Densetsu or Moonlight Legend. It's catchy, easy, and I'm on a Sailor Moon kick this week. Now that you've selected your musical piece, you'll need to figure out some things before you start composing. First, find the time signature of the piece. Is it in common time, 4-4? or 3-4. This will help with keeping the notes in the correct positions and values. Unfortunately, 4-4 and 3-4 are the only time signatures available in Mario Paint. Moonlight Densetsu is in 4-4, so I'll keep that in mind for later. Next, you'll need to figure out the key signature of the music. Is it E-flat? B-flat? In short, the key signature is how many sharps or flats are in your piece. In Moonlight Densetsu, there are three notes that are always flat, unless marked otherwise. B flat, E flat, and A flat. I believe this is E flat major, but don't quote me on it. All you need to know is that they are flat when appearing in this piece. The last issue is to sort out the tempo. Fortunately, you don't have to immediately know it. Mario Paint uses tempo changes to split its static quarter notes into smaller subdivisions, so you may need to up the tempo in order to achieve eighth notes and the like. For now, don't worry about it. You can wait to find the true tempo by testing out your composition in playback mode. Since I already know the true tempo of Moonlight Densetsu and how many subdivisions of notes exist, I'll keep 270 in mind. Now let's finally take a look at the actual Mario Paint Composer, in particular the Song vs. Arranger interface. First off, let's look at the Song interface, which is divided into two parts, the Music Editing Area and the General Button Area. The music editing area is comprised of two parts, the notes, sounds, or instruments, and the respective sound levels, or volume. The notes, which are clicked in the music editing area, act exactly as they do in normal music, though it must be noted that Mario Paint has a limited range in terms of high and low notes, which is three spaces above the staff for high and two below the staff for low. The sounds, or instruments, are stationed above the music editing area. They're represented by various Mario game sprites, though in no particular order. The sound levels are positioned underneath each and every note you make. You can use these to lower the volume on certain notes while retaining the volume on others. However, this feature is slightly flawed. If you have two notes on the same column, you'll inevitably change both of their volumes instead of just one. Next, let's look at the various buttons in Mario Paint. The stop, Play, loop, scroll, and rewind buttons are all part of the playback set. Most are self-explanatory and act in the same way as any standard music player. The save song, load song, and new song are part of the save set. You can create new songs, save your new songs, and load them up later with these buttons. These are also st fairly straightforward. The eraser, time signature, and tempo bar buttons are the last set of buttons and are part of the composition family. Here you can set your time signature to 4-4 or 3-4 and adjust your tempo via numerical values. And if you happen to mess up when composing, you can click the eraser button and click on any wrong notes to erase them. Make sure the eraser is green or selected when you want to do this. Now let's go to the arranger interface. This was a recent addition to Mario Paint Composer that allows you to link together several files into a single composition. The arranger interface shares many of the same buttons as the song interface except it has add, delete part, move part up, and move part down. The add button allows you to add a song to an arrangement. However, you must have an arrangement selected and have the song you want added already loaded into the song interface of Mario Paint Composer. 
Once you have multiple songs in your arrangement, you can delete parts of them and move parts of them up or down, thus making your arrangement. Mario Paint Composer uses simple point-and-click notation, meaning you get what you click. This isn't always simple, though. Sometimes the simplicity of the interface can cause editing problems later. Note values in Mario Paint are ruled by the laws of spaces and tempo. Forget everything you learned in music education and just remember the quarter notes. That's all you get in Mario Paint. Worried? You're justified in that. Which brings me to my next point. Note values. As stated earlier, Mario Paint Composer only recognizes quarter notes. This means if you were to ask it, can you play me an eighth note, it would probably self-destruct. Sadly, the issue of note values is left strictly to the whims of tempo and spacing inside Mario Paint Composer. What I mean by this is that if you had a piece of music, let's say Moonlight Densetsu, for example, that at a tempo of 135, it would be actually put into Mario Paint tempo as 270, twice its actual speed. Why, you ask? Well, it's because Moonlight Densetsu has eighth notes. Eighth notes are half the value of a quarter note, meaning they are played twice as fast. See where I'm going with this? So when you put an eighth note into Mario Paint, you have to speed up the tempo and space out your regular quarter notes more. If an eighth note gets no space in between them, a quarter note gets one, etc, etc. If this all seems too daunting and morbidly cruel, just test it out by ear. Listen to your piece and try it out until you think it sounds right. Or call your old band director and complain to them. That's what I did. So, Moonlight Densetsu has three flats, and you're probably wondering how you get them. For once, I have a positive and simple answer. Control and Shift. Control makes your note flat, and Shift makes it sharp. And what about bass clef? Sadly, it just doesn't exist in Mario Paint. If you want to use a bass clef piece, you'll have to transpose it into treble clef first. If you don't know how, it's best just to leave it. Transposing clefs, especially ones with three flats, is just plain torture. Mistakes always happen, and you're probably wondering how to edit them in Mario Paint quickly. Well, you can't. Everything you do in Mario Paint usually sticks because there's no such thing as selective editing. If you write a page of music and suddenly realize you messed up in the second bar, you'll have to erase everything up until that point and start over. The best way to reduce this headache is to simply split your music up into several small files that are easier to handle and work slowly. Listen and re-listen to every bar carefully. It may take some time now, but in the long run it'll pay off. Now you're ready to put it all together. Mario Paint Composer plays just like a regular music browser, so you can listen to your song whenever you'd like inside of the program. And if you've happened to make a few songs, you can put them into a composition and play them as a whole piece. Well, that's all for Mario Paint Composer. Thanks for listening, and happy composing.